Big Oogs, you've travelled up from London for this one. Obviously, you're repping the black, mate, not that Arsenal shape. Uh, how did you see it? Uh, I don't know. It was a bit weird because I thought we were going to come here and win. Um, so to lose the game 2 0 like we did, I feel like Arsenal came into waste time. They, they, they came here with a sole purpose, which was to get under our skin as fans. And we gave it to them. We, we, we bit when they were poking us. Um, and I feel like they played on that. Um, their goal, the first goal, came out of nowhere. Yeah. But Odegaard is very key to them, so we had to stop him. Mm. We stopped him in the first game, but, but not this game. He had a bit too much space. Uh, but we started strong, innit? So obviously, our, first, our strong, our, our fast start. I feel like this could be Spurs all over again, but we hit the post, we missed chances, uh, and at, at the end of the day, it was that final quality, like those fine margins is, is what gets you points against the big clubs, and it was on their side today. Literally is fine margins, because if that Murphy goes in after one minute, it could be a hammer again. I didn't see who it was, <laughs> um, really truly, but then obviously there was chances. Uh, I think Rams done, done a good save. Massive save against Willock first half, yeah. Shaw second half, we've hit the ball. Uh, with twice. The post twice, with the post, yeah. hit, hit the post twice. That penalty. I feel like after that penalty call, cool, that VAR. Because you know what annoys me with VAR, yeah, is if the referee goes to the monitor, you know what's given. Yeah. You know that he's gone there to change his mind. So I, I was waiting for that time to not be the case, but it didn't happen. Um, and that, and I feel like that moment it sort of woke them up a little bit. They, they realised, raw, you know what? Like we're in here, we're, we're, we're waiting for a game here. Like we're we're in for one here. And um, I feel like after that, they sort of got on the ball, they started to slow down even further and they got the goal out of nowhere. Oh, they got out of nowhere. And we still had chances. The fans tried to get behind them still, but it just wasn't to be in it. That's fine margins, isn't it? Um, so it's, it's getting close now, but I think two wins. Yeah. Two wins will be enough to get top four? Yeah, because I feel like Liverpool left too late. Um, we, got, we still got a game in hand, haven't we? So if we win that, I think we're six points clear. And I think there's four or five games to go. So two wins, four, two yeah. wins. Yeah, four now. So two wins, um, I, see, I see it coming at Chelsea. And I'll probably see it at Leeds. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got Leicester too. Leicester so. at home is huge, isn't it? Exactly, that's huge too. So there's games to win. Um, so now it's about taking it. Because we're, we're so close. Like we've, we've been here for all season. Like we're so close. So it's about seeing it over the line and sort of just keep keep on going, isn't it? Keep, keep on going. I was, I was disappointed. Not disappointed, but I like to see Isaac up top. And I feel like Isaac keeps Wilson fit. But when I, mean, when I say that, I mean that. Without Isak, Wilson, Wilson gets injured now because he's playing a lot of games. But Isak keeps him fit, keeps him rested on the pitch, and he keeps him fresh to come on and make an impact. When you now move Isak out wide, I understand it, but Kiliman Isak up top, that's his position. Um, and I would have kept it the same today and brought on Wilson when we needed him. Because there was a time where we had questions to ask, and that's the time we, we, we bring him on. But we brought on Anderson and obviously Gordon and that, and some maximum. But it just wasn't to be today, man. Would you be disappointed now if Newcastle didn't get Champions League? After obviously an amazing yeah, season, if we yeah. finished fifth, would it, would it hurt? Hey, perspective is so important, man. Um, if I base it on my emotion, then I'll be disappointed. But if, if I look at it if, if, if with perspective and see how far we've come mm. within such a short space of time, um, I wouldn't be disappointed. But to be in the top four for so long in the season and then to not finish in the top four, mm. if Man City win Champions League and then it's top five, get, get Champions League. So, um, but... I, I, I wouldn't win if it's third, but if, if we don't get third, then obviously it's just unlucky. But we're getting third. Or, or, or top four. Like yeah. We're having Champions League nights back in Newcastle. It's happening next season. Like We've, we've come too far to let it slip. Like, the mindset of these boys is, is second to none, man. We, we fight till the last minute. And that's what I, I always ask for, just to fight, to fight. But I feel like there's no concern. Just to, we've been in a two, two out of four games. That's all. Win two out of four games and it's done. Okay. Thank you, bro. Thanks, man. Bye-bye. Thanks, Cheers, man. Cheers, man.